Hi all, uh, what a delight to be here. Uh, I'm Ollie, I'm the Commercial Director at Podfront and I'm joined here by Charlotte Mitchell, one of our account managers. Those of you that don't know who Podfront are, we're a joint venture between two of the largest podcast publishers, Stitcher and Wondery, an Amazon company. We represent also inventory from NPR, All Things Comedy and more recently Sports Social Podcast Network, but more on that shortly. Now, for those that, who are familiar with Podfront, you'll notice that Ruth, our amazing uh, managing director, is not present today, unfortunately. She can't be here. She's put everything that she's learned into running this business, into keeping two new babies fit and healthy, but I'm sure she'll be watching later. <laughs> 2022 has been a hugely exciting time for Podfront. We've seen audiences continue to grow since the start of the pandemic, and those audiences have hung about. We're also working with more diverse brands than ever before, enabling trusted advertisers to reach UK audiences in a premium and safe environment at scale. In a challenging and unsettled environment, Podfront UK continues to adapt. We've already surpassed last year's revenue during the summer of this year, and so continued growth is key, but not just for us, for all of the partners here today. Now, as we're at the IEB podcast upfronts, I want to drop in an IEB stat, and also because I've told James Chandler that I would in exchange for a beer later. So here it is. According to the IEB in their 2021 ad spend study, podcast revenue had grown by 61% year on year. This is up from 43% reported in 2020. Now, I want us to think about that number very carefully the importance of 61% growth. It's higher than audio streaming growth, traditional radio, display advertising, video and paid search. It's a really impressive number that we should all be proud of. Now, we at Podfront understand how important it is to never stop delivering results and growing our revenue and audiences. It's a fundamental part of any media business. And so I'm pleased to announce today one of our new partners of 2022, Sports Social Podcast Network. Sports Social Podcast Network are the home of sports podcast content with over 200 podcasts covering everything from rugby, football, boxing, cricket, F1, and everything in between. Now, one of their podcasts is called Anything Goes with James English. Now, not one of their traditional sports podcasts, I'll admit, but James does interview footballers, pundits, athletes. But as the title suggests, Anything goes, because he also interviews ex-gangsters, comedians, porn stars, politicians. Listeners can expect shocking stories about murder, crime, and addiction. Here's a short video from the man himself, James English. My name is James English, and I'm the host of the Anything Goes podcast show. The name does exactly what it says on the tin, Anything Goes. I've interviewed people from all around the world, from all walks of life, from inspirational people, sports stars, crime bosses, and very colourful characters with very controversial topics. I've had guests on like Paddy the Baddy, Paul Gascoigne, Dan Till, Andrew Tate, Pablo Escobar's son Juan, I've had Mafia boss Michael Francese, and a whole host of others. My platform is not to pass judgement and just let people tell their story from their side. I guess that's why it's so popular with over 150 million views and downloads in just under four years. And I believe I'm just getting started. I go to America in two months to hopefully take it to another level and bring in some of the best conversations that this world has ever seen. Thank you. Charlotte will now introduce you to some new shows that Podfront now represent with our partners. Thanks, Ollie. So the first podcast I'm going to talk about is from our newest network partner, Sports Social Podcast Network, and that is the George Groves Boxing Club podcast. So the George Groves Boxing Club podcast is a podcast that you listen to if you love your boxing. If you want to know more about what it's really like at top level, how you throw a right hook, how you ride one, and how you train for the biggest title fights of your life, this is the podcast for you. This is the podcast that you listen to if you've never been in the ring, but you want to step in with one of Britain's very best. 
If you want to understand what those who fight for a living go through, then listen to this podcast. It's gritty, painful, and beautiful. Next up, from Stitcher and Crooked Media, we have Pod Save America. So four former aides to President Obama, John Favreau, John Lovett, Tommy Vieto and Dan Pfeiffer are joined by journalists, politicians, activists and more for a no bullshit conversation about politics. They cut through the noise to break down the week's news and help people figure out what matters and how they can help. From the same network, Pod Save the World. Pod Save America co-host Tommy Vieta thought foreign policy was boring and complicated until he got the education of a lifetime, working with President Obama's National Security Council. On Pod Save the World, he and former Deputy National Security Advisor Ben Rhodes break down the latest developments and bring you behind the scenes with the people who are there. We now have an exciting exclusive announcement to share with all of you. From the same network that brought you Pod Save the World and Pod Save America, we are delighted to announce the upcoming launch of Pod Save the UK. Here is Nish, host of Pod Save the UK, to tell you more. Shit. <laughs> Hello, this is Nish Kumar, and I'm delighted to announce that I will be the host of Crooked Media's first international podcast, Pod Save the UK. I'll be keeping you up to date on everything that happens in the UK and across Europe as my country tries to do the political equivalent of poisoning itself. For reasons that remain unclear to a lot of us here, frankly, I'll be talking to experts from across a wide variety of fields to dilute the fact that I'm a stand-up comedian who knows absolutely nothing but is a real cute guy. <laughs> Podcast is coming to you in early 2023, and I can't wait. Got there in the end, didn't we? That was a bit scary. Um, next is a, another update from one of our other um, network partners, Wondery, with their series two of The Devil Within, Demons of Yorkshire. So in 1974, after experiencing financial hardship, Michael Taylor joined a local church in the rolling hills of Northern England. After falling in love with a young, beautiful preacher, Michael's personality began to change. The mild mannered family man became abusive and unhinged. His new church believed that he was possessed by no fewer than 48 demons and would require exorcism to save his soul and protect his family from evil. But the supposed remedy would come at a very steep price. Finally, we have an exciting new launch from Wondery that is coming out in Q1 2023, which is called Stolen Hearts. So Stolen Hearts is the incredible true story of how a decorated female British officer fell in love with a man leading a double life as Britain's biggest bank robber. This limited series unravels the fascinating story of forbidden love between a police sergeant and a con man who fell in love when they met online in 2006. Thank you, Charlotte. Um, so that's it from us anyway. We've managed to rope in Wondery and Amazon Music for the next part, so we'll just finish up here. But as a business, we continue to grow. And as a format, podcasts continue to adapt to the ever-changing, delivering strong results against many other platforms. I'd now like to hand over to James Cater, Head of Commercial across Europe for Wondery. Uh, cue the smoke <laughs> machine for this. Right. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thanks, everyone. Hello, everyone. Uh, so as Ollie just kindly introduced me, yep, I am James Cater, and I'm the head of commercial in Europe for the people who I think are the best storytellers in the business, Wondery. There's a timer right there, which is not too long left on it. So we've got a lot to show you. So I'm not going to be here for ages. Um, we've got content for next year we're going to go through. We've got product. We've got special guests. Uh, we've got all sorts. So I think the key thing that I want you to remember across all of this is the scale of Wondery's ambition as we grow in the UK and beyond, and also just how we create shows that just resonate incredibly with audiences in the UK and globally. So first, uh, here's a little video which kind of shows a bit more about Wondery. Wondery. 
This podcast company is behind such shows as Dr. Death, Dirty John, and American Scandal. Josh, just wondering. You got it. We could start a podcast called Who Needs Men? I am getting the hang of this podcasting thing. You know, like I've got to that age now where all my friends have started having uh, podcasts. I have grown this habit of listening to podcasts. I listen to like American history tellers because I like history and I like to learn stuff. I listen to this podcast on Wondery. I think this is a new, not just golden age of audio, but it's a return of a great storytelling tradition in our times. This is a guy, oh, for God, this is too hot for a podcast. It's right oh, 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 oh. oh. I wore sleeves today, guys. This is what tomorrow looks like. He's either the most incompetent surgeon I've ever crossed paths with, or he's a sociopath. The show where we bring you the murkiest stories that ever happened on these odd little aisles. Hello to our amazing first ever live audience. Hello. This is nice. Who did this to Daphne? What exactly did she know that got her killed? I think what sets Wondering Apart is the storytelling. Who is that on Times Square? Who is that? I do believe you have just had what we call a breakthrough. Oh, Jesus. So as you can see, um, it's been kind of a year of big successes for us, like as globally, but um, in the UK as well. We've had hit shows, we've had sellout live events, um, and we've won loads of awards as well, which is always very nice. I think two stats kind of really show where we are as well. Um, we've more than doubled downloads in the UK since last year. And we now have more than one and a half million unique uh, monthly listeners as well. So we're growing at an amazing pace and we, we can't wait to continue through next year. But as I said, that's enough from me. Uh, the time is still counting down. Um, in a minute, Rich will run through some content plans. But first, my colleague Gina is going to give you a sneak peek at a product we're launching in beta very soon. So here's Gina. Hi everyone, my name is Gina Kim and I currently lead the programmatic podcast product at Amazon Ads and I am very thrilled to introduce you to something that we are launching this week, a special Amazon Ads unique podcast programmatic beta program. So let me tell you a little bit more. We really wanted to create a single point of entry through Amazon's DSP to make podcast buying simpler and smarter both for agencies and advertisers alike. It's an entirely self-service product, so you could do seamless setup all the way to booking and even get your brands, help them understand the diverse podcast listening segments that we all know is so valuable today. We have, of course, thousands of shows in terms of our inventory and including our one and only Wondery and Amazon Music Originals. So hope that I've teased enough information to get you intrigued, to get you asking questions, to find us after the show, um, and hopefully participate in our beta this quarter. So looking forward to talking to you, and I will pass it over to Rich Knight, who will go over our very, very fun content plans for 2023. <laughs> Hi everyone, thanks Gina. Um, I'm Rich Knight, I'm UK Head of Content for Wondery. So what happens when the best audio storytellers in the world, and let's face it, that's what Wondery are, turn their attention to a British audience? Sixth of July, 2022. The Committee Room, Downing Street, London. Boris Johnson strides into the room and glares at the seven cabinet ministers round the table. He bites down his anger, throws a heavy file on the desk, watches them flinch, 
seven of you, the magnificent seven, I take it I'm the bad guy in this scenario. They all stare at the table, ashen-faced. Most of them fidget nervously. He leans back in his chair, takes in the heavy silence. He has to hear them out, but it's the last thing he wants. Michelle Donnellan, the education minister, flicks back a strand of dark hair. Now, culture sec, of course, under trust. At the time of recording, yes. <laughs> By the time this goes out, she could be Prime Minister. <laughs> Prime Minister, we're all very grateful for the service you've done for the country, for taking us out of Europe, but now is the time he leans forward. I made you Education Minister yesterday, Michelle. At least Brutus put the bloody hours in before he stabbed Caesar. So that's a world premiere preview of our British scandal Boris storyline with Alice and Matt, which starts next week. And I should just take a moment to thank Boris, and in fact the whole Conservative Party, for keeping British scandals supplied with material <laughs> far into the future. But that's not the point I'm here to make. The point I'm here to make is that British scandal works, despite Matt's highly questionable Boris impression, because it takes Wondery's diligent approach to crafting perfectly satisfying stories and infuses it with a British sensibility. And that's just the start. We're putting together a Wondery Amazon Music content team in London to commission and make podcasts that take the best of what Wondery can do, but with a British inflection for a UK audience. The quality of the team we're building is awesome. The podcast we release over the next 12 to 18 months will also be awesome. You can expect more high-impact miniseries like Who Killed Daphne, further localizations like Scandal, new formats, new topical shows, all with premium production values, exciting talent, and the full force of our really powerful marketing team behind all of it. Our new UK team brings plenty of its own experience from, among other places, the BBC, me, Audible, SBS, The Telegraph, other places. We're really excited to see what we can do working alongside our inspiring new colleagues. And we think you'll be excited to see what happens over the next year as well. But before that, I'm really pleased to share what is to us very exciting news that Amazon Music's brilliant and exclusive Plus 4.4 podcast will still be brilliant, but won't be exclusive much longer. It's back on Amazon Music with a new series on Monday the 14th of November, but this time I can reveal today that episodes will be available everywhere each Friday. And here's a uh, taste yeah, of the I put a tweet out. I said, why all of these women rappers talking crud all the time? Yeah, man, I'll, I was getting stray bullets. Man. What were you thinking about her when you wrote that tweet? For our country to be that tiny. Pull up now and put right? some respect for me. Put some respect for me. The whole thing that went viral with yeah. the Vlad interview. Even I said, I'll keep it honest with you. I was like, I don't understand why he got so upset. How do you feel about people saying that you've fallen off? I'm still hurt. You don't feel like you've lost a step at all? I don't listen to my music. What do you mean you don't listen to your music? It's not for me, innit? I don't <laughs> like, you know what I mean? That is so so weird. That's plus poor four, ladies and gentlemen. Here's its stars, Easy Mills. <laughs> Zizi, this show is important to us. Why is it important to you? Um, actually, I was watching that back and I thought, oh my god, I'm actually quite funny sometimes. So that's actually they get along really well. No, but I think it's really important because. Um, oh, now you can you can hear me, guys. You can hear me properly. Um, I think it's really important because. Popular culture, I would say, is culture at the moment. It's at the forefront of so many things. And um, on the Plus 44 podcast, that's what we do. We just kind of talk about current topics, what's trending uh, in the world, in popular culture, in music, in sports, in anything, really. That's kind of our thing. And then we bring guests on and we get to have a really open, open and honest conversation. And that's kind of what me and David kind of brand ourselves on doing well. What were some of the highlights of the last series so people get a sense of who you get? Um, I think one of my highlights was probably, actually anytime something does the rounds on socials, like goes viral, um, it makes me happy because I, it, I guess it resonates with people somehow. Um, and I think one of the most, mo most viral moments we had was when I told David that he wasn't an alpha. And um, obviously, you know, no, no one wants to hear that, but it kind of did the rounds on socials because it was just an honest conversation and that's kind of two friends. You know, when you have a friend, you can be honest, you can kind of go below the belt sometimes. And I think that's what people like to see. They like to see imitation almost of their friendship circle, but 
being able to listen to it. So what, that did the rounds and literally everyone was talking about it. What's an alpha male? Who decides what alpha male is? And you, taking a small moment, taking something so small and then opening it up into a wider discussion, I think is always um, quite fun. I have noticed you and David go viral a lot more often than your guests. Pardon? <laughs> you and David go viral more often than your guests. Yeah, I, I'm, I mean, what I guess. What do expect from the new series? Um, probably just again me and David just being really um, unfiltered and just having really good conversations with our guests we try to make them feel comfortable but also challenging them as well I think people like to watch interviews where you know you there's a bit of rebuttal there's a bit of pushback um, even your favourite artist there's probably one song that you don't like and that, I mean that's mine and jo David's job to say by the way track 10 cut it off you shouldn't have had it on there in the first place but they kind of like it and it, and it's and it's a good rapport so just that uh, honest and open conversations okay thanks easy that show is back on the 14th of november on amazon music on a monday and everywhere on a friday thank you thank you nice Thank you very, very much. One question for you, Zizi. Hello. Uh, talked about Tom Daly, a couple of other guests as well. Dream guest who you'd love on, who you haven't had on yet. My dream guest... Oh, this might be a little bit uh, controversial. Same. Same. I would have Kanye West on. <laughs> I would have him on because I just think that at the moment, no one's challenging him. No one's kind of like holding him accountable to the BS that's coming out of his mouth. And I think he's sat down with a lot of people that are a little bit scared of him or worried about what if he's going to get up and walk off. And I'm almost waiting for someone to walk off one of my uh, like podcasts. I feel like that's really good content. If someone just goes, I've had enough of this and just walks off. So I think I feel like you've touched a nerve if someone does that. So I would that would be my person. Anna, can anyone in this room make that happen if they can? Come on, it must be able to happen. Uh, brilliant. Thank you so much. Massive round of applause for Pubfront and ZZ. Thank you. Thanks.